And I want you to say, honey. Honey. <laughs> honey. Honey. With this ring. With this ring. I offer you my heart. I offer you my heart. You've held my heart. You've held my heart. In your hands. In your hands. From the moment I saw you. From the moment I saw you. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to keep you all shook up. <laughs> to love you tender, to love you tender, simply because, simply because you're the love of my life. You're the love of my life. I can't wait. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life. To spend the rest of my life keeping you happy. Keeping you happy. You have no idea. You have no idea how happy you make me. How happy you make me. You fulfill my heart. You fulfill my heart with happiness. With happiness. With hope. With hope. With dreams. With dreams. And I want to share those dreams. And I want to share those dreams with you. With you. I want to kiss on the ring finger. I'll do it again and count to five. I want to make sure he gets it. <laughs> I better write applause. Let him hear it. It's his day. Whitney, <laughs> honey, take that ring you have. And Clayton, place it on his ring finger. And as you do so, I want you to say, Clayton. With this, ring, with this ring, I offer you my heart. I offer you my heart. My thief. My thief. You stole my heart. You stole my heart. Literally from the moment I saw you. Literally from the moment. Did you say when I said thief? Did you say the look he gave me? <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. To spend the rest of my life. To spend the rest of my life. With my handsome husband. With my handsome husband. The great man that you are. The great man that you are. I want everyone to know how happy you make me. And I not only love you, but I'm in love with you for always. For my very last breath. How about a kiss on his ring finger? And you know the drill. Do it again. Count to four. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you... As they hold hands with each other, I want you guys to do me a personal favor. I want you guys to take a look at your bride and groom. I'm getting all dirty, that's okay. All right, they coming to get me? No. <laughs> that was for yesterday, the day before. I want you guys to take a look at your bride and groom. I want you guys to take a picture, not only with your eyes, not only with your minds, but take a picture with your hearts. Because this is the way we shall always remember Clayton and Whitney Marie holding hands with each other, burning love with heat, but at the same time, burning love with each other's hearts. And uh, take a picture with your hearts. And I want them to do me a favor. I want you guys to look at each other right now. And don't say anything, but just I want you to say I love you with just a look. Say I love you with just a look. Capture that look for each other, the way you're looking at each other right now. And the next time that you hit a bump in the road, because life's full of ups and downs, the next time that you hit a bump in the road, and the next time one of you has an issue with the other, or a problem with the other, because all couples go through ups and downs, I want one or the other to initiate that look right now, the next time there's a bump in the road. Because it's that very look that very look that has you guys before me ready to share your lives together, sharing it with your family and friends, and that look will persevere because you're about to become one momentarily. And individually, it's tough to tackle life's problems, but once you become one person, one heart, as you are about to become, it becomes much easier. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I read this story this story was beautiful, very beautiful. Um, she was so attracted to this young man's red hair, his red beard, those squinty blue eyes. Let me see those eyes, man. Let me see them. Gotcha. <laughs> she was so attracted to him because he sticks out in a good way. But what attracted her as well was the fact that 
if he's kind hearted. He knows how to bring joy to his family and to his friends and to his loving son. Is that son? Nephew. He brings family, he brings joy to his family, brings joy to his friends, and that's attractive. And she, she was attracted to that. She's also attracted to the fact that he knows how to diffuse a situation, and that's important because Clayton is not worth getting so upset about things. It's just not. I read something that was very interesting, and I don't remember who said it. I don't know if it was you, Miss Whitney. Yeah, I read they could be having a very, very, I don't want to say heated, but they could be having a... Uh, 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 an excited conversation, be disagreeing vehemently about something. And all of a sudden, a minute or two later, they're laughing about something else. You guys don't know how important that is. It's huge to be able to shift from something negative to something positive. So remember how to shift in life with each other. It's important. Why? Because things fester. So don't let things fester. Don't let it fester. Okay? Um, it's funny because he was attracted, of course, to her beautiful green eyes. I read that he had never seen green eyes. Like the green, green eyes you saw with Whitney. Honey, let me see your face. Oh my gosh, you're right. Beautiful green eyes. But what he was attracted to as well was her laughter. Her laughter. Ladies and gentlemen, the laughter comes from the soul. And when you can be attracted to someone's laughter, it tells you that you want to get to know them intimately, personally. You want to get to know the person. So the fact that I read that he was attracted to her laughter told me he really, really was in, 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 enamored with her spirit and her personality. And those are the qualities that last years and years and years. The attraction will always be there. That will never go away. But those things that I just mentioned, those are the things that help you stay together, being able to laugh and being able to just have fun. So I um, want them to hold hands as they are, and I want you guys to repeat something for me. I want you to say, baby, at the same time, honey, I'll always love you, tender. Never return you to sender. Always keep you all shook up. Never give you suspicious mind. Never step on your blue suede shoes. Never treat you like a hound up. Or I can't help falling in love with you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, there's a little bit of a song that they wanted to hear. So I'm going to do a little acapella uh, uh, before them because they are each other's good luck charm. It goes like this. A brown on a four-leaf clover, a dollar on an old horseshoe. Once a kiss, cause I just can't miss with a good luck charm like this. Come on and be my little a good luck charm, uh -huh. in sweet delight. I want a good luck charm to hang it on my arm. I do have, I do have, I do hold, I do hold, I do night. If I found a lucky penny, I'd toss it across the bay. Love is worth all the gold on earth. No wonder that I sit. Come on and be my little a good luck charm, uh -huh. you sweet delight. I want a good luck charm to hang it on my arm. I do have, I do have, I do hold, I do hold, I do night. One more time. I do have, I do have, I do hold, I do hold, I do night. Don't, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's almost time to pronounce my husband and wife, but before I do, uh, I want to tell them both, uh, continue to love each other, continue to respect each other, continue to be good to each other. I noticed one thing, and maybe you guys notice it too, we're hot as can be up here, but you notice what he's doing? 
He's been fanning her the last 10 to 15 minutes. And it kind of tells me the kind of person he is, tells me how he plans to treat her, tells me how he plans to protect her, tells me how he plans to protect his marriage. So uh, Clayton may offer you a little piece of advice. Keep fanning. <laughs> More importantly, I promise you, sir, I promise you, if you continue to do everything you've done that has allowed this beautiful lady to say yes to a lifelong commitment to you, if you continue to do that, and you continue to cherish and honor her family, you continue to prove to her family and friends, especially family, that you will be there for her as you are right now. I promise you, the greatest gift that a man can receive is the respect from his wife's family. So continue to do what you're doing. And sweetheart, same goes for you. There's no greater gift that you can give his family than that they need to continue to treat him as you are and to continue to make him as happy as you are. Really quick, I wish it was September. Uh, I want one more story on their on their uh, for their engagement. Very, very, very beautiful. Do you know how they got engaged? Raise your hands if you know. Raise your hands. Yeah. Um, they um, they were 25 feet under Earth's surface at Mount Saint Helena in a cave type of scenario. It had a little window of a rock, cave, corner. And in that window was a hint of rain and sunshine. And that's when this gentleman proposed. And that's how he proposed. And when I read it, I said, greatest proposal ever. So keep up the good work. Continue to love each other, man. Have fun with each other. I got one more song before I pronounce your husband and wife. You guys want to hear one more? You want to hear one more? Let me hear it. You don't, you don't. You don't? Get it on. All right. Too hot. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, the day is theirs. The day is yours. And uh, again, what a privilege for me to pronounce you both on this very special day. You don't have vows for each other, right? Pronounce you both, husband and wife, on this January, no, this June 24th of 2017. Kiss your beautiful bride because you are a husband and wife. Sir! Woo